Local help arrives in Haiti. This is exclusive video from local volunteers just back from a short mission to deliver supplies and a medical team. What they witnessed went beyond their imaginations. The minute you turned a corner, it was just one house after one house, after one building, after one church, just crushed, 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 crushed. There was nothing. There, there was nothing still standing. Good afternoon. While others remain, a local doctor and a representative of Constellation Brands are just back from a very quick trip to Haiti. That's right. Also returning with them today, a Haitian family of eight seeking refuge in the U.S. They are now on their way to be with family in New York City. The doctor and a representative of Constellation Brands, which donated the jet, witnessed a very desperate situation. 13 Wham's Elizabeth Schubert joins us live now from the airport where they arrived within the hour. Quite a story they had to tell, Elizabeth. Ginny, absolutely. Dr. Ralph Panino and Ginny Clark say that the devastation they saw was absolutely numbing. Let's take a look at some video now. And they were in the town of Leagon. It's a town that is very close to the epicenter of the quake. Now, as you mentioned, they arrived this afternoon here at the airport and stopped to talk to reporters to explain what they had seen. Ginny, you heard there explaining that she just saw house after house absolutely destroyed. Dr. Panino says they were there to deliver medical supplies, and here's how he described the destruction. I've never seen devastation like that. There is very little relief getting in there, even though it's a, um, a week and a half later. The first, the first actual rescue people didn't come until five days after the quake. And while Dr. Panino was there, he actually used some of the surgical tools that Interval, the medical supply company, sent down to them. And he was actually able to save a boy's hand. Some amazing stories coming up here. And we'll also have some more exclusive video that we received from them. And we'll have more on that coming up at 530. Liz, I know people will be curious about this Haitian family. You and I were there as they explained the fact that this was only a stopover point. Constellation said, hey, if anyone wants a ride back to the U.S. out of this desperation, we'll give it to you. But the logistics of getting this family over here was not easy. It was really tough, Jenny. And actually, I spoke to Jenny Clark about it because the question that we had was, what about the papers? What did they use to get over here? She said that the family did have papers. It wasn't too difficult, but it took them some time to get all the logistics worked out. Now, they did bring the family back on the plane, of course. All the journalists here were very, very eager to talk to that family, and uh, they were literally taken off the plane and, and sent right to JFK to make sure they were protected. The family had said that they did not want to talk to anybody. But the idea that they were actually able to get eight people over on this plane back here in the U.S. to take refuge is a pretty amazing story. Yeah, a lot of lives touched in a very short mission. We'll also have news about a surgery that the doctor performed while he was on that 24-hour trip in Haiti. Quite a story to and tell. And he really didn't even expect to be there that long. They yeah. were going to turn right around mm -hmm. and come. They were in Haiti for just a few hours, but experienced some life-changing moments and did a lot of good. Yeah, a local doctor and a representative from Constellation Brands are both home tonight. 13 Web's Elizabeth Schubert joins us now, live from the airport where they arrived just a little while ago. Elizabeth? Doug, they arrived this afternoon. We have video of the plane coming in, but we want to refer to is Ginny Clark and Dr. Ralph Panino were the ones that were over in Haiti for just a few short hours. They went to the town of Leagon. It was right near the epicenter of the quake. They brought 3,000 pounds of medical supplies, and they also brought a team of surgeons, two anesthesiologists, as well as four surgeons. They were actually able to perform a surgery on a crush injury. It was in a makeshift hospital in a makeshift operator room. Now, this crush injury was almost nine days old. It actually broke through the tendons and the nerves in the hand. Here's how Dr. Panino described it. Uh, the amazing thing about it is this injury was uh, nine days old. It happened uh, during the quake. And so it was not only a chronic nasty wound with a lot of little small creatures in it. Um, so they came over just as we got there and asked, can you help out? Does anybody can do this? So the team went over and it was a team effort. It wasn't just me, it was a team effort. And just to describe how important it was to bring those 3,000 pounds of medical supplies over there, Dr. Panino described one surgeon he met who was actually using a hacksaw to perform amputations. Apparently, the surgical tools that he had before were broken, and he had to improvise. So they did an incredible thing bringing all those supplies down there, and we'll have more for you coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. All right, Elizabeth, thanks.
And this is exclusive video of local volunteers taking on their mission to Haiti that included emergency surgery under extreme conditions. Rochester-based Interval sent supplies and a medical team there just yesterday. Good evening. Well, within an hour, within the hour, the local doctor and representatives from Constellation Brands, which donated the jet, returned to Rochester to share their story. Also returning with them, a Haitian family of eight seeking refuge here in the U.S. They are now on their way to be with family in New York City. Elizabeth Schubert joins us now live from the airport with the story today. Elizabeth. Don, the goal on this trip was to help Interval deliver 3,000 pounds of medical supplies. And they arrived back this afternoon at 3.30 on the second of two planes that Constellation Brands supplied for this effort. Now, Don, we showed some of that video a few minutes ago. We want to show it to you again. This is exclusive video from the town of Leogon. It's right near the epicenter of the quake. Jenny Clark, who is the Constellation Brands representative, actually shot this video herself. She said it was absolutely heartbreaking. There was destruction everywhere. And Dr. Ralph Panino from RGH and also the founder of Interval was there. And they brought down a team of two anesthesiologists and four surgeons. They were able to perform emergency surgery in a makeshift hospital. Hospital. They were able to save a boy's crushed hand. And this just gives you an idea and one of the few, many, many reasons that uh, these medical supplies were so necessary. There are so many amputations being done down there. And the equipment that they have available right now, the guy that's down there is using a hacksaw. Um, all right, he had a surgical instrument, but it broke and there was no backup. So he was literally using a hacksaw. So fortunately, we brought a bunch of surgical saws with us. But I mean, um, that's how, how primitive it is right now until things start, start arriving. And we have more of that video of them delivering the supplies and helping out with that surgery. We'll be showing that to you tonight at 11 and obviously hearing some more of those incredible stories, yeah. Don. All right. Hey, thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, just looking at that footage brings it all home to us. Don, Dr. Ralph Panino, a team of surgeons and anesthesiologists, and Ginny Clark of Constellation Brands delivered more than 3,000 pounds of medical supplies to the town of Leogon. They brought back a Haitian family of eight who are now in New York City with family and some amazing stories about their experience. When the plane touched down in Rochester, it marked the end of a 36-hour journey for Jenny Clark and Dr. Ralph Panino. It's a uh, contrast in extremes. You come from a place like this, which has everything, and you go to a scene of devastation like I've never seen before. That scene of devastation, the port city of Leogon, about 18 miles west of Port-au-Prince and the epicenter of the earthquake on January 12th. The minute you turned a corner, it was just one house after one house, after one building, after one church, just crush, 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 crush. There was nothing. There, there was nothing still standing. This video was shot on a Kodak consumer video camera supplied to the team by 13 Wham. You have refugee camps, for lack of a better term, everywhere. In the middle of the streets, they're just taking tarps, uh, sides of broken building and just living in the street. They drove through the ruined city streets to deliver medical supplies to a resident set up by the University of Notre Dame. We brought in a team of doctors um, and we were looking to see where we could fit in. They found their place on a table in a makeshift hospital as Dr. Panino and his team worked to save a teenager's hand. We went through some tendons and nerve. Uh, the amazing thing about it is this injury was uh, nine days old. It happened uh, during the quake. He and the other surgeons were able to use their own supplies to perform the surgery. It was, the wound was so bad and so dirty, he was in a lot of pain. Plus, he was scared to death that we were going to cut his arm off because there are so many amputations being done down there. And the equipment that they have available right now, the guy that's down there is using a hacksaw. Because of the surgery, Clark and Panino missed their window to safely fly home and ended up staying the night. But reflecting on her experience, Ginny Clark shake, wouldn't have changed anything. Wasn't, I wasn't worried that something would happen to us. People are very um, humble and were so happy to see us come. 
Interval is still collecting supplies, and Dr. Panino is planning to bring them back to Haiti as soon as he can. His job on this short trip was to determine what doctors needed there and bring back the necessary supplies. He says this relief effort will last for at least six months. Now, if you'd like more information about Interval or to read Dr. Panino's blog, log on to 13wham.com and click on the green Find It button. For 13WAM News, I'm Elizabeth Schubert.